Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. I am bringing you another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. I got a sad video for you now though, guys, uh, because unfortunately, my friendly bear, he's not here. Uh, Elfa Lee is unfortunately on holiday right now, so he's off uh, having fun on a beach somewhere while I'm stuck here uh, doing the work with the rest of my friends, but I'm not too lonely. Uh, I am going to be joined by Amy and Rosie, who I believe are hanging out in AB's new room. Oh, and thank you for some lovely jubbly love love petals. Have you got a present for me, Rosie? Yay, some more love lovely jubbly love love petals you can never have too many and uh, here's amy's room by the way she's doing a little bit of progress oh is this rosie's bed down here <laughs> oh look at amy's bed of all the flowers and everything over here and then rosie's got her lovely little bed down here ah oh, it's adorable <laughs> and uh, even though lee's not here uh, he has left me a little surprise upstairs he told me so i'm gonna go and check that out is that my breakfast by the way is this what i'm, I'm resorting to eating for breakfast one small slice of cake while lee isn't here <laughs> let's let's see what I've, what i've got up here oh i've got a cake here is your cake make it last enjoy so i guess i got to have this cake to last me for the entire time lee isn't here num 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 um okay well that didn't last quite as long and oh look there's a little fake lee here there's a little fake elf lee so if i do get lonely i can go and uh, talk to the pretend elf lee up there <laughs> it's not the same but it's gonna have to do we all miss him we all miss him <laughs> anyway i'm gonna start the video as i always do uh, by going and giving someone a shout out in my love garden and there is a very special person and i say person loosely uh who i I'm adding to my love garden today. I am adding Oreo the dog and uh, that is actually a person that commented on one of my videos. Uh, you may remember that sadly I think, I think it was like three videos ago now uh, Oreo the dog did die and uh, there was a comment on that video from Oreo the dog saying Stampy I love you heart and I know it wasn't from the real Oreo but it put a smile on my face the idea that Oreo is somewhere above me looking down and he loves me so I love you too Oreo the dog whoever you are whoever decided to post that comment <laughs> and I'm also gonna go grab a dog and oh what's this there's something there's something at my front door what is this oh it's a postcard it's a postcard from Elfa Lee oh he looks like he's having a good time over there oh now I'm just really jealous <laughs> oh, well, well, thank you for that, Lee. Thank, thank you for your postcard. I'll, I'll put that up on my wall. I go and put it up on my wall in my house somewhere a little bit later on. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, pick a dog. And it looks like Squid's in his room as well. Squid's hanging out in here. What are you doing? What What is he making? He's doing some sort of redstone. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be working quite yet. I think, he, I think he's been up all night working on some redstone and he sort of fell asleep where he was standing. Squid, wake up. Squid, wake up, man. It's the morning. <laughs> Nope, okay, I guess we're gonna leave him to it there. I was actually quite lucky all of my dogs didn't go and charge him down when I hit him there. Right, who should I take with me then today? Uh, luckily, last video I took Benji with me, and he actually managed to survive for the entire video, which is uh, quite remarkable considering my uh, my <laughs> most recent uh, outings. And oh no, I've got to get rid of the Arbiter as well. It's always sad when I've got to get rid of a sign. Ar Arbiter did sadly die. Uh, but today in this video, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Duncan with me, I believe. And Duncan uh, is the dog all the way over here, and you can tell it's Duncan because he's got the uh, the sticky up ears. See how pointy his ears are. That's how you can tell it's Duncan. So uh, he's gonna be joining me for this video. And Squid, are you going to wake up at some point? Or are you just going to sit there being lazy the entire video? I guess he's going to sit there being lazy for the entire video. <laughs> anyway, I should probably mention what it is I'm building. Um, I finished my Fish Me A Dish mini game in my last video. Uh, since then, I have uh, added a bit more detail to it. I've basically uh, finished the kitchen. If you didn't see the video, it's basically a fishing game which is themed around a kitchen. And um, yeah, I added some more detail. And at the end of the video, uh, I am going to head over to there. And uh, we are going to have a little mini game of that. And uh, I was supposed to be doing it against Squid, but uh, he doesn't seem to be active right now. Uh, but yeah, so I am going to show you that at the end of the video. But that's not what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be building a brand new shop. And it's going to be... Drum roll, please. A clothes shop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with my very own fashion label, and um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna call it yet. I've got a few odd ideas, but um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on them. I think there's a good chance uh, they are really rubbish ideas, but uh, I'm gonna run them all by you in a little uh, minute, and hopefully you can suggest some other ones. But I want it to be a really fashionable shop, you know. And uh, I was trying to come up with like a, a stylish design. And uh, this is the best I could come up with. I thought Smoothstone 
then uh, Birchwood. And Duncan, oh, come on, Duncan. You're not helping. I know you're excited. I know you haven't been in a video for a while, but behave, you know. But come over here, actually, and come and sit down. Not on the track, because that could be dangerous. And try and stay safe, yeah? In the last video, I made Benton sit inside a, um, a cobblestone doghouse. And uh, I don't want to have to do the same with you, so just try and behave yourself. Right, so I'm going to do Birchwood and Smoothstone Stripes. And then I was going to have one wall at the back, uh, which was just going to be just only, uh, like, bricks, like exposed bricks, I thought would look quite cool. I think that's kind of a, a traditional stylish thing to do. And this might be a little bit close to the uh, the road, actually. I think it'll be okay, because that way uh, I can go quite far back and I can have the shop quite big. So I'm going to have loads of different clotheslines. Trust me, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, what I need to do is just um, mark this out and then just start building all of these upper stripes. And then the floor, uh, I was thinking of doing bricks as well. And then uh, the roof, I was thinking maybe the dark wood, was it spruce wood I believe it's called? And so I think that might look quite funky. So let's see if this is um, all going to meet up right and whether this is uh, like going to work out. You know, sometimes you go and do the pattern and it doesn't quite work. I believe this should be perfect. Right, jolly good. So this is my shop. <laughs> it's not that big, but uh, I never like doing them too big, you know. It's going to be quite tall though. Like the fancy shops always are really tall and really well lit. So that's kind of the style I'm going to go for. And my idea for uh, the name of the shop, and it's only an idea, it's not final, is Stampy's Overwear. Which, yeah, okay, it might sound a bit rubbish, but the idea is I didn't want to call it Stampy's Underwear because underwear is just a load of pants. And I thought it's quite funny because people are going to say Stampy's Overwear. And people are going to go, where? I can't see him. And you're going to go, Stampy's Overwear. You know, it's kind of a bit of a, a funny joke. So that, that was my best idea uh, I had for coming up with a name. But uh, as I said, it's not final. It's, it's kind of growing on me. When I first came up with the idea, I thought it was laughably bad. And now I'm kind of a bit used to calling it Stampy's Overwear. So. It, it may stick. It might stick. I'm not entirely sure. And uh, the floor, Rosie, is going to be brick uh, down in there. Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, uh, spruce for the roof, like planks, and the floor's going to be brick. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to, to get rid of the progress that you did. Because they always do that, don't they, in fashionable shops? They always just use, like, really random, like, building materials, you know? They really love just doing it. I don't know, they like making it look like a warehouse or just doing bricks and all stuff like that. They can never just be normal. They've got to try and be fancy and different. And uh, that's what I'm actually going to try and do. And I do actually kind of have my own clothes shop already. Well, not really. Um, but I do have a, a, a stampy store which is online uh, where you can actually go and buy like a bunch of t-shirts and stuff and uh, I got a bunch of different designs I got a, a Stampy's Hot Buns t-shirt uh, which is really cool and I haven't actually bought one myself yet but I kind of want to wear one so I can say yeah been there done that got the t-shirt and uh, there's a Stampy Cat one as well uh, and um I think just a normal stampy one. And I got more coming as well. I'm going to be uh, doing a Googly's t-shirt and all sorts of other stuff. So um, if you do want to check some of that stuff up, uh, there is going to be a link to that in the description if you wanted to see. And they're not just clothes either. I got like iPhone cases and mugs and toys and all sorts of fancy stuff. And um, I don't make much money from it. It's nothing like that. It's just, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just quite cool. If you want some stampy cat merchandise, uh, it is available. Right, anyway, I've almost got this done actually. I think this is probably um, about as high as it is going to need to be so I think once I've done this I'm gonna do the roof I might quickly uh, hop down and see what it what it looks like from above but um, I think this actually looks quite good I've made uh, pretty good progress despite my uh, traditional slow start and getting distracted uh, I think I'm actually doing uh, I'm doing okay right let me try and hop down here and see whether I think that's tall enough it, it does look pretty massive stuff I don't think it needs to be any taller than that and so yeah I'm just gonna do the the roof as I said um, out of that spruce wood but I might, I might do the uh, the floor first do I have any there we go I got a few bricks in here so I might go and help them do the floor I'm gonna put a whole load more clay in the furnace as well because um, we need so oh, here we go I had some more there as well there we go so that can be all working and hello squid you'd finally woke up what time is it look look at what time it is you've been lying asleep all day standing up and I saw you doing whatever sneaky redstone it was I might have to go and investigate that and see what it was I saw you squid I saw you <laughs> oh he's right he's right oh, it's okay squid I'm only joking Right, okay, let's go and make this um, this all into bricks. And then uh, once I've done the roof and the floor, I'm going to head over to Funland, uh, to my Funland, just to um, uh, to make sure I do have time to play my uh, Fish Me A Dish mini game. And uh, me and Squid have actually come up with a little bit of a bet for it as well. And uh, what we've decided to do is whoever wins uh, just goes and sits down on a seat in the restaurant. And whoever loses has to be the person that has to cook the fish and go and serve them all the fish and that. So uh, I kind of really want to win. It's not as important as... 
the uh, the last time I played where um, it was determined on my diet. And as you can see, I won, so I no longer have to be on my diet. <laughs> and oh look, oh, I forgot about that. He's put all of the uh, happy food. Like, let's get rid of that and let's put some cake in there. <laughs> it needs to be how it is. This is Stampy's hot buns, not Stampy's crunchy apples or something along those lines. <laughs> right, so let's go and uh, make a whole load of these uh, spruce wood planks. And uh, let's try doing them uh, for the roof. It's kind of very similar to um, uh, to how my, my kitchen game was, actually. That had a spruce roof. And uh, I did sort of have a little bit of a tester before the video. I sort of tried out a bunch of different materials. And uh, these, these are the ones that I thought looked the best. Like, this is kind of a bit like wallpaper. And the stone just sort of goes quite well with it. And I just wanted to do something different, you know. I always end up building out of the exact same materials. And this is just, I don't know, it's just a little bit different to the stuff that I normally do. So I'm not going to do it sloped. I'm not going to do stairs or anything because uh, that will sort of make it look like a cute little house. And I don't know, they, they do kind of look like like big warehouses, like all of these massive things. <laughs> and another idea for the name, by the way, is just like a random name. You know, you always get like the names of all of these fashion labels. It's just some bloke's name who came up with it. <laughs> and so I was thinking of maybe just calling it just like a really standard, like bog standard name. I think that would be quite funny. <laughs> I'd have to pick someone to name it off though. I couldn't just pick any name. I'd have to pick some lucky person to have this this whole fashion store like named after them. <laughs> and uh, for the inside, uh, I'm going to do some dressing rooms. I'm obviously going to have a counter and uh, I'm going to do like mannequins. I'm going to build like little models of people and put item frames on them and then put like different items of clothing on and then I'm going to come up with like different different lines. Like because it's summer now, I'm going to have my my summer range of clothes and I'm going to make up like the names for like different outfits and stuff. And it's all going to be kind of silly fun stuff, but I'm really looking forward to it and I hopefully we'll be busy. Hopefully as uh, soon as it's summer, everyone's going to be uh, rushing in to buy all their swim wear and stuff and yeah hopefully that the demand will be good and we'll be able to meet the demand <laughs> and we've almost got it built like this main bit here i'm amazed how quickly we've done it like uh, i think it's because i've got proper help you know everyone's just been working hard no fun no games just getting it done and look we've been rewarded i've almost got this whole outside completely finished in one building i can start building the inside now i did realize though something i forgot to do was i was going to do the um the back wall out of brick. So uh, let's just go and put down a bunch of torches for now. Uh, if I just do them... Uh, actually, if I do them on the, the stone and just do it on every one, like, I want it to be really lit up. They're always really bright, these kind of shops, and they kind of blind you. And I need music as well. I need to get a jukebox so there's, like, background music playing the entire time, like, really loud, you know? <laughs> and, like, every shop's playing the exact same song, so you hear them over and over again. Right, let's just start building the, um, the inside of the shop then. So, uh, where would the changing rooms are normally right at the back, aren't they? And so I don't need, like, much room for anything else. So if I do, like... Uh, bits like that. These can be the changing rooms. If I do like three of them along there, and then like uh, one whole wall here. Actually, I might do this out of brick as well. And so yeah, actually, that's what I'm going to do. Instead of doing the, the whole back of the shop out of brick, I'm just going to do one wall here um, out of brick, and then that, that should be okay. And is that a bit too close? I don't know. They're always a bit cramped behind there in places like that. So if I just do one wall here, this is kind of how they are. This, this is kind of how shops look like. And I don't know much about fashion. I don't go in fashionable shops very often, you know? Like, uh, loads of my t-shirts are themed around video games, you know? I'm hardly a fashionable kitty cat, but um, yeah, I can try and copy people that are. <laughs> and try and come up with some cool ranges. I'm kind of looking forward to this. I should put on a fashion show. Oh, that's what I'm going to do for opening day. I'm going to get a catwalk and I can have people, like, walking up and down and sorry Amy I don't mean to to build a wall in front of you while you're there excitably dancing at the idea of a fashion show and here we go this can be my my changing room in here I might do some uh, like some buttons or levers in there uh, to kind of look like like little pegs to hang up your clothes up and stuff and oh, this looks really awesome I'm actually kind of really happy with this and so let's do the uh, the counter here I'm going to use it uh, use the brighter wood just for just for a bit of a change you know just a bit of variety because uh, everything in there was the dark wood and then yeah I can start building my mannequins and stuff right if I do that along there and then uh, if I do it to here maybe and then like, I'm going to do like, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Amy, didn't mean to do that. Duncan, you stay where you are. It's fine. It was an accident. She didn't hurt me. Are you okay out there, Duncan? Um, I, I, think, I think he's okay. I, I don't think he saw it. I think he happened to be turning the other way, so I got away with that. <laughs> Actually, Duncan, you can follow me. I feel bad making you uh, sit down for the entire video like that. Right, so if I go 
and make um, a few staircases. They can be the, the cashiers. What they always do in shops, yeah? They have a whole row of tills and then no one on them. There'll be one open always and then a whole row of empty ones, which like they must use once a year, you know, like maybe at Christmas or something. And the rest of the time they're just completely unused. And yeah, once I put these down, uh, then it's going to be time for me to go and uh, head over to my fun land and play my fish me a dish. So here we go. A good day building. Actually got something done. And now I'm going to go to my fun land to play some games. What a jolly good day today in Minecraft's been. Right, so there we go. Here's my, my big row of tills. <laughs> and so, yeah, I can have all of my employees behind there. And here we go. Here are where all the, um, the changing rooms are. It kind of looks a little bit like a toilet. I'm not going to lie. These do look a little bit like cubicles. But we know they're changing rooms. We know. Right, Squid, are you ready to join us? Let's go see what he's doing. Doing. He's been down in here inside his little bedroom the entire video. And let's go take out these googlies first. Whoa! Look at that! Did you see him go flying then? <laughs> he went miles! That was awesome! Get back! Like, why did he go so far? He's still alive! Look, he's in there swimming in the water. Right, let's see if I can take him out. Let's see if I can get a lucky hit with the bow. I got him! I got him! I got rid of him! And you leave her alone! That's alright, I'm gonna get it! Don't, everyone stand back. I don't wanna hit anyone else. There we go. Are you okay, Amy? There we go. It's coming after me now. You leave her alone, you incy bincy spider. Right, okay. Let's go see what Squid's doing and uh, see if he's ready to go and uh, very quickly head over to the fun land so we can play the fish me a dish game. Let's see if he hasn't just gone and fallen to sleep again. Well, I can see him. He's just run away. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Is this what? Is this what you spent your entire episode doing? <laughs> you did. Oh, is this like your little back entrance to the water? I see because you're a squid. Or are you building something sneaky down here? Oh, you could build something in my little water room. You can have that, by the way, squid. If you want to make this little area here your bedroom, that's absolutely fine with me. But uh, we don't have time now. We've got to all very quickly go and uh, run over to the fun land. And uh, then we can have uh, the big game on Fish Me A Dish. Like, the last game was the important one, because that was whether I was going to have to stay on my diet or not. But this is the first game when it's 100% completed. So, uh, in itself, that is quite exciting. So, hopefully Duncan's not going to be in my way. Come on, Duncan, please move. Come on, please. I, I want to play my games. If you move out the way, I'll give you a fish. Deal? Deal. Right, I knew it'd move out of the way when I said that. Let's go! Woohoo! Right, everyone follow after me as quick as you can uh, because we are running out of time. And then, yeah, we can play the Fish Me A Dish game. I'm going to have a little bit to eat on my way. Actually, no, I'm not going to have anything to eat. I'm going to save my hunger because I'm so confident I'm going to win. Uh, I assume that squid's going to be um be feeding me my fish very shortly. That's what the plan is anyway. And uh, it is night and I don't want to be complacent. I'm going to have my sword out. And it's raining. Why is it raining? I hate it when it rains in my lovely world. It never rains at my my house uh, but it always rains over here by the fun land and it's really annoying it's just a bit of a dark horrible raining day but um hopefully the night will be over soon right here we go this is what the uh, the kitty kitchen fish me a dish mini game uh, looks like finalized all of the outside um, is exactly the same as it was in the last video if you saw that and uh, so yeah there's the uh, the awesome lovely kitty uh, that amy built and if we go inside here, um, you'll see that uh, I added a bunch of item frames. This way, um, at the end of the game, rather than trying to throw down the fish in a little pile on the floor with them still all flapping about, uh, you can just go and put them up in these item frames. Uh, but the biggest addition uh, is inside to the kitchen itself, which actually looks like a kitchen now. And um, I'm going to break my way in, actually. There's no um, other way to get in rather than breaking your way in because you're not actually uh, supposed to go in here. I'm just going to dump some stuff in here, actually. I've got a completely full inventory so let's just go and uh, get rid of some stuff I don't need and grab my fishing rods ready right if I use a silk touch on my um, shovel I can break my way in and get the glass and yeah this is what the the kitchen looks like finalized it's got some cake of course and um, this is a a potions brew no a, a sauce brewing stand um, you can see there's my fridge there that I built in the video and there's my hot and cold tap and that's just done with item frames and different coloured wool. Looks quite awesome. And yeah, this is what the, the kitchen looks like finalised. I think uh, overall it ended up looking pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, thank you for, to Lee who helped me build that as well. Just before he went off on holiday. And I do still miss Lee. I do wish he was here. Anyway, Squid, are you ready? Are you ready for the, um, the first game? And oh, something that I need to mention to you as well, Squid. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, that means you need to win. That means you, you can have a little bit of bread now to keep you going, but you need to make sure you win, then you can get some tasty fish. <laughs> There's a little addition to the game. You get double points for every fish that you cook. So you get one point for a raw fish. If you cook a fish, you get double points. And so in your side, you see there's two furnaces. And so if you have time, 
Uh, you can go and cook your, uh, put your fish in the furnaces as well. But you can't put them in or take them out once time has gone, okay? So if you grab that fishing rod there, Squid, and you stay on this side, I'm going to grab another one from in here, and uh, I'm going to go over to the other side. I always like to have a spare fishing rod just in case one breaks. Actually, right, I need to press the button. Do one of you want to go and press the button behind the counter there? And uh, it will set off the timer. And hopefully... Uh, the redstone is all still working. It was working last time. Oh no, I've got a dog in the way. I got a dog in my way. I can I can see Duncan there. <laughs> right, so there's going to be a bit of a delay until it starts. Uh, but once this first door opens, it's all action stations. Right, I'm really hungry. I want my fish. So I'm absolutely determined to win this game. And here we go. We are off. Right, I've got the... Uh, I got the more difficult side for the start. Here we go. I managed to get it in straight away. And Duncan, don't you dare block that fish. I got a disadvantage. I got a wet dog in my way. It's not fair. I think it's pretending to be a dogfish. <laughs> right, I got a bobber almost straight away. And that's what you need. You see the little float bobbing up and down. Uh, that means I have good fish potential. Uh, so hopefully, uh, I'll be able to grab one. And Duncan, please don't block the fish. <laughs> I should have told him to sit down ages ago. But it's too late now. I'm concentrating on the game. And Squid's got a bobber as well. He's got a good chance of getting one. And he's really far away as well. And why have I not got any fish? It's not dunked down once. Like last time I got three on the first one. Oh no, Squid got a fish, but it didn't get it into him. Did I get one? I'm not sure if I got a fish then or not. Right, moving on to hole number two. Right, come on, please get it. There we go, I got a bobber straight away again. Come on, please dunk. I'm just getting unlucky. Why am the fish biting today? What, what, what's wrong? Do I need to do my fish noises again? Nope. 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 Oh, it's not working. The fish aren't interested. What do fish like? What would a what would a, a fish's dream be? You know, I can't think of anything other than fish food or water. I'll give you some some wet fish food if you bite. Come on, I haven't got anything yet. Well, why aren't they biting? Right, I'm just going to go for a lucky pull. No, I didn't get it. Right, we're going to be moving on to the final one. Oh, and this is the hardest one for me as well. Well, I got a bobber straight away though. I've actually got a good chance here. Come on, please just dunk down. Do, do fish not bite when it's raining, do you think? Does that affect fish? Actually, no, I saw Squid did get one earlier. He didn't get it into his pen, but uh, he did get a chance. I'm here wait. I'm just like properly waiting with the left trigger just to pull it back. Like, I'm going to have responses like a proper... Okay, here we go. I got it. No, but the fish didn't come. Oh, no. I got a fish, but it didn't come back in. Oh, that was my best chance. God, I need to get another one straight away. Or is this going to be a draw? And I don't want to draw. I want to win. I'm really hungry. Come on, please. Okay, I can leave it in until the, the flap comes open. I've still got a chance. This is not game over yet, but it's going to be difficult getting the fish all the way from there over to here. Here we go. I got it. I got the fish. It came in. I managed to get it. And oh no, I got a dog as well. I got a dog and a fish. Bonus points. Right, make sure I cook the fish, not the dog. Well, I'm not allowed to cook it, but I did manage to get a raw fish. So Squid, we need to come out here and you need to put all of the fish you got onto your item frame. I don't believe he got any though, Squid. Do you want to come through here? Did, did you manage to get any of them? Uh, I don't think he managed to get any. No. Okay, that means I win. Right, Squid. Uh, very quickly, you need to go and cook this fish here and you need to serve it to me. Right. Waiter. Service. Service, please. Come on. There's a hungry cat over here. I'm hungry for, for my fish, Squid. Go on, please. Quickly, quickly now. No, I don't want the item frame. I want the fish. You can't just gonna throw the fish. Don't even cook it. No garnish, no sauce or anything. He's dropped it under the table. I can't even get it. I can't. He's dropped it under the table, and my table was wonky. Right. Well, let's 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 eat my fish then. Seeing as I did win it, <laughs> my raw fish. I suppose I am a cat. I can't eat them raw. <laughs> anyway, we have certainly just about run out of time on this video. Hopefully, you did enjoy. It. I certainly had good fun making it. Uh, so thank you to all of my Minecraft helpers. You were actually all amazing today. We made some great progress. And thank you, Squid, for being such a good competitor in my Fish Me a Dish mini game. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.